Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress content creator. I make WordPress and elementary tutorials for beginners. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into today's video. Now, I've already discussed the unwrap extension of dynamic content plugin. It's really powerful and it helps in reducing the number of divs that are standard with elementary version, right? So when I made a video on that extension, few people left comments giving feedback on that. I think they heard that feedback and the unwrap extension is a bit improved. And in this video, I'll show you how improved it is and how easy and intuitive to use it is the new unwrap extension of dynamic content plugin. If you don't have dynamic content plugin, you can get it from the link in the description. Let's get into today's video. As I told you, unwrap extension removes the unnecessary tips. So here's an elementary template and here's its preview. So if I right click and click on inspect, on the surface it looks like it's not doing anything. But if you closely look at the HTML, you don't have to worry about HTML. I'm just showing you so that you understand what it's going to do. So you can see that there are ton of wrappers for even this button, right? So it's within a div, which is in turn within a div and then, so there's a lot of div and you can see that from the section, you can see there are at least one, two, three, four, seven divs to this button, right? So there are a lot of unnecessary elements in Elementor. And unwrap extension essentially removes the unnecessary divs. But previously, when I first showed you the extension when it was out, it removed styling as well. But watch what happens with the improved unwrap extension. So within your Elementor template, you can simply click on the settings cog at the page level, click on advanced and you find unwrap element. So you can enable it at the page level, which is really awesome. So it will remove unnecessary tags of each and every single element or element. And here is a setting which is really clever. So you can try to force element style, which means the buttons won't lose the color, styling and stuff, all the fonts and stuff. Previously, it removed the styling of buttons as well. It removed styling of each and every element. But with try to force styles, it will try to remove only those divs which are not really necessary so that way it won't affect your styles but will still optimize your site you can also remove specific html elements unnecessary elements this is for the more advanced users you can simply leave both of these checked i'll update this now this is the template with the unwrap off now just turned it on and the template will reload once it reloads you'll barely notice any difference and you can see that the website just reloaded and styles are intact which is really awesome now it's not perfect but you know it gets job done and you can see that there are still few irregularities but that's the price you pay for optimization right so to remove unnecessary divs it's almost as good as the original one now if you turn this off you can do it with one click this was the feedback on my previous video, right? You people said that I had to go to each and every element and turn this on. Now it's available at the document level. Click on the settings cog and page level. It's available, which is really awesome. Of course, it's still available at column level. It's still available at widget level as well. So with an advanced tab, you also have it per column, per section and per widget as well. So this is unwrap extension, the new and improved unwrap extension. This is really neat and it's a part of the latest and the greatest update of dynamic content plugin. They also released another update fixing the compatibility with Elementor 3. We'll get to that in a bit. So that's it for now. What do you think of the new improved unwrap extension? Would you still use it or do you think it's still unnecessary or still impractical to use this. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.